Hello action figure fans, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This video goes up on a Monday, so it's a Marvel Monday. This time I am reviewing the Marvel Legends Rage action figure. This is part of the um, Gamerverse Abomination Build-A-Figure Wave. This was released in 2020. I bought this in a store in 2020. So here it is in a nice window box where we can see the action figure and the accessories that it comes with. We can inspect it to make sure that uh, it looks good enough for us to buy. That's why I like the window packages. So here is the top with the Marvel logo. There's the bottom with some manufacturing information. A picture on this side. A mirror image of that picture on this side. And on the back, a picture of the character with a mini biography. And the Abomination Build-A-Figure and the other action figures in this wave and some more manufacturing information down here. So I will open this up and review the action figure in just a moment. Here is the Rage action figure. Let's see how tall this action figure is. According to the tape measure, just a little bit more than six and three quarter inches tall. Or a little more than 17 centimeters tall. So a little bit bigger than most of the Marvel Legends action figures. Now let's take a closer look at some of the details here. Um, interesting mask. Now it looks like uh, they didn't do a very good job painting his nose there. But the mask itself seems to look alright. This is a pliable plastic vest that he wears. A little bit of painted detail on the front there. But on the back I recall in the comic books, I think it had the word Rage written on the back, but they missed that here. And it looks like uh, some sort of bracelets with some spikes on it. Extra pieces that are put on the arms there. So those will move. And a belt with some spikes on it. Some black pants here and shiny black boots some spikes on the bottom of the boots and peg holes in the heels of the boots so no other details on the boots or the legs this vest is kind of pliable but it's also pretty stiff so we can see the belt goes around so Looks like the comic book character. So in the comic book story, I think this was a, a little kid, a young kid, maybe pre-teens. And according to the biography on the back of the box, he was exposed to some chemicals. And he got turned into this uh, giant, super strong character. And then he quickly joined the Avengers at the time. I don't know why. The problem with the Avengers is sometimes they just let anybody join and they don't even know who the character is. But anyway, later on he joined the New Warriors, so some teenaged um, heroes. So that seemed to be a little bit better fit. Let's take a look at the articulation. So with the head, we can look up quite a bit, look down. We can shift the head quite a bit, turn left to right, lots of tilting there. And at the shoulders, I, there are no butterfly joints. So we can go out this far and go all the way around. And there's a bicep cut that's working on both sides. Although we want to move the arm because the triceps will hit the body. We have double jointed elbows. So that looks pretty nice there. There's soft ratcheting in the shoulder and elbow joints. And at the wrist we can turn. These are fisted hands, and there's a hinge. So, 
that is working and this side we can twist and there's a joint a hinge there okay we have a diaphragm cut here so we can crunch forward quite a bit uh, we cannot go back very far I think part of it is is being hindered by this vest here but at the uh, diaphragm cut we can turn no, actually we're just turning at the waist there so the belts are attached to the body above the waist and then we can do the splits pretty good there and kick forward not too bad kick back a little bit kick forward and kick back a little bit there's an upper thigh cut that is working on both sides we have double jointed knees that's about as far as we can go there and this knee is extremely loose right out of the package so it's still working but the top part the top joint is very very loose I can feel a little bit of ratcheting but it, it's just not really stopping it so I'm surprised at how loose it is I hope it doesn't break off then we have a boot cut so that is working on both sides that's kind of loose and with the ankle joints Can go down that far and go up that far not too bad and ankle pivot so that seems to be working all the joints are working this knee the upper knee joint is extremely loose there the head seems to be pretty wobbly up there so almost like a bobble head but the other joints are working pretty nicely so that's good let's see if we can get this action figure to stand and it does have nice shiny black boots there so there we go here is Rage next to a pair of 4 inch action figures. On the right is an adventurer from an Animal Planet set I reviewed a while ago. On the left is the Fortnite Jonesy action figure by Jazzwares. Here is Rage next to a 6 inch action figure. On the left, the Fortnite Legendary Series Havoc action figure by Jazzwares. And a 7 inch action figure on the right, the Masters of the Universe Masterverse He-Man action figure by Mattel. And it looks like Rage fits in very well with either scale, either as a very large person compared to a normal six foot person or a slightly smaller person compared to a six foot person if He-Man is uh, six feet tall. So it works well in either scale. Here is Rage next to the Marvel Legends Crossbones action figure by Hasbro. Crossbones was part of the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure wave that I reviewed. Uh, recently and these two action figures I think are using identical bo body molds uh, the legs the boots the legs up to the hips and the bodies and the arms are the same so the heads are certainly different they have different hands they also have uh, different attachments Rage has a vest and belt and different bracelets uh, crossbones has uh, holsters for guns and they certainly have different heads I think Rage's head is a little bit bigger maybe crossbones head is just a little too small for the body but it's an identical body mold just painted differently 
The Hammertron Sledgehammer rating for this Rage action figure is, it's not really the best. Um, I'm being harsh with a Hasbro product. This action figure was released in 2020. Uh, Hasbro has been having a lot of problems in uh, late 2022 and throughout all of 2023 so far. So I'm being very harsh with the Hasbro product, but um, biggest problem, um, they missed the paint on the nose there, so that doesn't look quite right. Also, this particular knee joint is just really extremely loose. So, right out of the package, you know, this has been in the package for about three years, but right out of the package, it's extremely loose. So, uh, when I tried to bend it the first time, it, it moved so easily, I was afraid that it had broken. So, that that really um, didn't give me a good feeling. So, that's why I rate it so lowly. So, thank you for watching my review. Remember to like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this action figure, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.